today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. I know it's before 1700, but I just had to include this one. According to legend, St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, died and now his feast day is celebrated widely on this day in Ireland and the United States. It is, of course, called St. Patrick's Day. In 1756, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated in New York City at the Crown and Thistle Tavern. Sounds like the perfect name for an Irish bar. In 1762, the first St. Patrick's Day parade occurs in New York City. In 1775, the Transylvania Land Company buys most of Kentucky via a treaty signed with Cherokee chiefs. It was later declared illegal. In 1776, British forces evacuate Boston, Massachusetts, ending the siege of Boston. In 1800, the British warship HMS Queen Charlotte catches fire off the Tuscan archipelago. 700 people die. In 1829, today was the final performance of famous clown Joseph Grimaldi in London, England. In 1842, the Relief Society of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is formed. Also in 1842, the Huron Indian Nation cedes 140,000 acres of land in Ohio and Michigan to the United States in exchange for 148,000 acres west of the Mississippi. In 1845, today, self-rising flour is patented. My family and I use it all the time. Also in 1845 and at the patent office, Stephen Perry of London registers the rubber band. What would we do without it? In 1854, Worcester, Massachusetts acquires land for the first park in the United States. In 1861, an Italian parliament assembled and officially proclaimed the Unified Kingdom of Italy. The modern country of Italy is born. In 1868, the postage stamp canceling machine is patented. In 1871, the National Association of Professional Baseball Players is organized. In 1886, 20 African Americans are killed in Mississippi in what is called the Carrollton Massacre. In 1891, the SS Utopia collides with the HMS Anson in the Bay of Gibraltar and sinks, killing 562 of the 880 passengers on board. In 1893, the Montreal Hockey Club claims the inaugural Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup trophy after finishing at the top of the Amateur Hockey Association of Canada standings with a 7-1-0 record. We now call that trophy the Stanley Cup. In 1894, the United States and China sign a treaty preventing Chinese laborers from entering the United States. In 1898, John Philip Holland achieves a successful test of the first modern submarine off Staten Island, New York. He submerged for one hour and 40 minutes. In 1905, Eleanor Roosevelt, the niece of President Theodore Roosevelt, married her distant cousin Franklin D. Roosevelt, who later became president. Also in 1905, Albert Einstein finishes his paper detailing his quantum theory of light, which becomes one of the foundations of modern physics. In 1906, the Phi Kappa Tau fraternity is founded at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. In 1912, the Campfire Girls organization is created by Mrs. Luther Halsey Gullick. In 1917, the first exclusively women's bowling tournament begins in St. Louis, Missouri. Also in 1917, Delta Phi Epsilon is founded at the New York University Law School. In 1919, American singer Nat King Cole is born. In 1921, the first birth control clinic in England is opened in London. In 1926, Spain and Brazil prevent Germany from joining the League of Nations. In 1927, the United States government doesn't sign the League of Nations Disarmament Treaty. In 1930, construction begins on the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue in New York City. In 1932, German police raid Adolf Hitler's Nazi headquarters. I wonder what happened to those officers after Hitler took power a short time later. In 1942, the first Jews from the Lvov ghetto are gassed at the Belzec death camp in what today is eastern Poland. In 1944, Mount Vesuvius in Italy erupts after months of volcanic unrest, destroying several towns nearby. In 1950, researchers at the University of California at Berkeley announced the creation of Element 98, which they name 
California. In 1956, at the 8th Emmy Awards, The Ed Sullivan Show, The Phil Silver Show, and Lucille Ball win. In 1957, a plane crash kills Philippine President Raymond Magsaysay and, and 20 others. Also in 1957, the Dutch lift their ban on driving on Sunday. In 1958, Vanguard 1, the first solar-powered satellite, was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida. The four-pound satellite stopped transmitting in 1964. In 1961, William Lyons, the head of Jaguar, debuts their first E-Type model at the Genova International Motor Show, creating a sensation in the car world. In 1965, the Beatles announced their second film will be called Eight Arms to Hold You, but have second thoughts and later change it to help. In 1966, in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Spain, a U.S. submarine finds a missing American hydrogen bomb. Yep, just sitting there. In 1967, the Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan is born. Also in 1967, Sheila Bromberg becomes the first woman to perform on a Beatles recording when she plays harp with a string section for the Sgt. Pepper track, She's Leaving Home. In 1968, the Bee Gees make their U.S. TV debut on The Ed Sullivan Show, performing To Love Somebody and Words. In 1969, Golda Meir becomes the first and only female Prime Minister of Israel. In 1970, the United States Army charges 14 officers with suppressing information related to the My Lai Massacre in Vietnam that we touched on in yesterday's episode. In 1973, the photograph known as Burst of Joy is taken by photographer Slava Vetter. It depicts a former prisoner of war being reunited with his family. Also in 1973, Queen Elizabeth II opens the New London Bridge. In 1979, Wales beats England 27-3 for its second consecutive Five Nations Rugby Championship. In 1985, serial killer Richard Ramirez, also known as the Night Stalker, commits his first two murders in Los Angeles, California. Also in 1985, Maddie Nykonen of Finland set a world ski jump record of 623 feet. In 1988, Avianca Flight 410 crashes into a mountainside near the Venezuelan border, killing 143 people. In 1989, Dorothy Cudahy becomes the first female Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. In 1992, apartheid in South Africa comes to an end. Well, at least it's voted out. Also in 1992, the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, is attacked by a suicide car bomb that kills 29 people and injures another 242. And in 1992 as well, at the 18th People's Choice Awards, Kevin Costner and Julia Roberts win for motion picture and Bill Cosby and Candace Bergen win for television. And the next year in 1993, at the 19th People's Choice Awards, Kevin Costner and Demi Moore win for motion picture and Tim Allen and Candace Bergen win for TV. In 1994, the Cleveland Indians announced that there will be no smoking in their new ballpark. In 1995, the United States approves the first chickenpox vaccine. In 1997, CNN begins Spanish broadcasts. In 2000, more than 775 bodies are discovered at the headquarters of the Doomsday Cult Movement for the Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God in Uganda. The cult's leaders are believed to have killed their followers after a promised apocalypse did not occur. In 2005, American author Andre Norton died at age 93. She wrote more than 130 sci-fi and fantasy adventure novels. In 2006, French-American fashion designer Oleg Cassini passes away. In 2008, Elliot Spitzer, the governor of New York, resigns today after a scandal involving a high-end prostitute. In 2012, the Messenger spacecraft begins its extended mission. In 2013, Pope Francis delivers his first angelus prayer and blessing. In 2014, Sia releases her single, Chandelier. In 2016, archaeologists announced the discovery of a 2,500-year-old Iron Age Warrior King burial ground with 75 graves in Pocklington, Northern England. In 2017, 
the live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast, starring Emma Watson, premieres. In 2019, Zimbabwe declares a state of emergency after Cyclone Ida rips through eastern Zimbabwe, killing at least 259 people. Also in 2019, Facebook removes 1.5 million videos of the Christchurch Mosque shootings in the first 24 hours after the attack. In 2020, the European Union announces a 30-day ban on entering its 26 countries for almost all travelers as it struggles to contain COVID-19. Also in 2020, at this year's Razzies, the musical Cats wins six awards, including Worst Film. And lastly, in 2020 as well, the country of Chad begins repaying a $100 million debt to the country of Angola by sending the first shipment of 1,000 cows. That was it for today's episode. I hope you subscribe to my channel and check out all of the other great videos that I have for you and more are on their way. Have a great day.